tape script 8.22.1. Hi, Buti. Are you and your family going to your home village for Chumban? Hi, Hien. No, when I was younger, we used to go for a whole week. Now, we work at the restaurant the entire holiday. Yeah, us too. I used to look forward to going and seeing my cousins. Now, we only go for one day to attend the Pyumban ceremony. I know. I used to help my grandmother make nom an som and nom kom. It was great fun. Now, we are very busy at the restaurant, especially on Pyumban day. We only have time to go to the early morning ceremony. Before my parents owned the Chinese restaurant, they used to do catering for parties and we had time to go to two or three pagodas. Now my mom works late into the night making nom song for customers and she is very tired when she finishes. But we go in the early morning and make an offering. Did you used to visit other pagodas? Yes, it was something my grandmother insisted that we do. She complains about how the celebration is changing. She says when she was young, families didn't use to work during the holiday because businesses would close. Now, she says people have to make a choice between pleasing their bosses and pleasing their ancestors. Tape script. 8.22.2 A. Perum used to watch lots of movies. She reads novels now. B. We used to go to Siem Reap for holiday. We don't go there anymore. We prefer Skype now. C. Terry and I used to play volleyball. He still plays sometimes. But I don't play anymore. D. Agra used to weigh a lot. He doesn't anymore. He lost a lot of weight. E. I used to play the guitar. I saw it a year ago and bought a saxophone. Tape script 8.22.3 Pyumban is a holiday in Cambodia which is celebrated to remember our deceased ancestors. The Pyumban festival is on the 15th day of the 10th month in the Khmer calendar. When I was a younger man, I didn't used to celebrate it as much as I do now. When I was a child, I used to be lazy and like sleeping late. During Pyumban, my family would go to the early morning ceremony at the pagoda to throw sticky rice ball offering for the evil spirits and I used to stay in bed to sleep. After high school, I moved to Bosat province. My wife and I used to travel back to my home village in Svairiang for Pyumban every year. Now I don't like to travel such a long way for such a short time. My family and I now stay home during the holiday. We didn't used to visit the local pagodas because we would travel to Svairiang instead. Then, for many years, we didn't make any offerings to our ancestors because they were so far away. A few years ago, my wife took me to a kanban at a local pagoda and I enjoyed myself. I really liked the head monk. As a young man, I didn't used to take the ceremony seriously. I used to pretend I was interested. Now I am interested because I really like a new tradition he has started among his local community. He said that people used to throw rice balls and it made the pagoda compound dirty. He also said that younger people used to play around, not being serious about the ceremony. He decided to only have the rice thrown into a basket, which was then blessed by monks. Then, a small bit of rice is thrown on the ground as an offering to be received by the spirits. They offer the rest of the rice to the poor families in the community. By offering the rice to the poor, people are earning more merit by helping those who are not as well off. I didn't used to participate in my community much. Now, I sponsor a Kanban each year and feel very happy when I do it. Tape script 
A. Did you used to be afraid of the dark? B. I used to be afraid of the dark. C. I didn't used to be afraid of the dark. Tape script 8.22.5 1. I used to love exercising in the evening, but now I'm too tired. 2. I used to sit in my grandmother's kitchen and watch her cook. 3. I used to be quite fat. Then I went on a diet and lost 10 kilos. 4. Makra used to be one of the rowdiest boys in the class, but he's much better now. 5. We didn't used to have a dog when I was younger. 6. Did you used to spend your holidays in Kampong Saum?